to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Golden. Blocked by fast. Back to the body. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Protecting his head well with his guard. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Good solid jab by Fast. Unable to score with the hook. Golden's hit hard that time. What a solid hook to the body. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of them. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Golden's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. That's a well-scored left hand by Golden. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And we come to the end of round number one. Golden's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside and you're lost, you need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Side to side. underway lands that hook to the midsection That hook was well off the mark. 
side. Move your head. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Fab. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. And he ties up on the inside. Fast is really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Halfway through this round here. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Able to cover up that gut. Fast is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. And he's holding. Last 10 seconds. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. You get close to And round number three is underway. Parries that punch intended for the head. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Pace yourself! Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Keep moving! Now he ties up there. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Golden's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows is he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head.
Holden scoring with that right hand. Fast's on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook. Cut. Fast is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Finish the hook. That is a sharp uppercut by Golden. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And that does it for this round. Good, good. This is what I need you to do. Keep you shooting know. the jab into his chest. His hands will drop, then follow with the power shot. Right, keep this guy off balance. Nice work. Look, you stand up straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. You need to throw more punches. The body. Bang the body. Hit that body. Some guys just get out of the gate well, and such is the case tonight. Teddy's scorecard has them up three rounds to zip. looking for that's a miss right there by fast Mark there going upstairs. Come on. 90 focus. seconds to go in round number four. His right hand working well that time. He scored well. Relax, relax. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Fast is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy. Does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. He missed with that headshot. Seconds to go in the fourth. <laughs> End of the round. Relax, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. Fucking beautiful.
That was that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. Jab and move. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two Aspen and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Work the body, A solid hook by Golden. Keep moving, keep moving. Anxious keep it up. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Now hugging on the inside. You're not focusing. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. And now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Golden's fighting this fight as if somebody glued the bottom of his shoes to the canvas, Teddy. Somebody should check that right now. If I was in the corner, <laughs> I'd call the referee over and say, hey, can you check that for me? <laughs> Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Golden. This round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Still win this he seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dog place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Good block there by Fast. <laughs> he just missed that shot up top. One, <laughs> Good block there by Fast. Fast is showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you.
Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Move, move. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Watch that! Fast, his head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making adjustments. Matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting. And the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. And the round comes to an end. You sit ringside long enough and you get a sense at what the scorecards are going to look like. I mean, sometimes they throw you off a little bit. But we know who should be ahead on the scorecards in this fight. Yeah, and he does too, and his opponent does too. And you see it in his body language. He's starting to get a little discouraged a little bit. And of course, you see also that the guy winning right now, he's starting to behave like a guy that's winning. He's staying outside a little more, using those feet a little bit more, almost going into that kind of prevent defense you see in football. Well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? Defensive skill with the block by Golden. He gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Double up on your punches. Off the target by Fast. Good block by Golden. Go, go! At the halfway point of round seven. Side to side, move your head. Relax, relax. Blocks the headshot. Fass is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. Come on, kid, focus. Nowhere close that punch by Golden. Uh, 
Ten seconds to go in this round. And this round comes to an end. This is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more, right? Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. Don't just walk in. Walk in with head movement, side to side. You don't need that. No, throw that away. You know, it's not always as simple as who throws more punches as we start round number eight and we look at your scorecard. Fast has been the more effective fighter. The punches he is throwing, those punches are getting things accomplished. And he's also proven something that I've said before, that sometimes aggression is a state of mind. You know, it's not really a physical state. And that's what he's doing. You know, he's fainting him a little bit. He's controlling the outside. He's not always walking forward. But he's doing what he wants to do and making his opponent do what, what he doing. wants him to do. Golden's been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching chamber. He's starting to launch him just a little too soon. And his opponent... Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Great job. <laughs> Oh, what a whiff by Golden. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Golden. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Jump on him. Nice. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. It's okay. Pay him back. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. That's it, just like that. Good job! And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Nice! Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Good block by Fast. Golden's in a tough spot right now, Teddy. I don't know really what the answer is for him because he hasn't shown me enough to prove that he can change the way this fight is going. He's down bad. On my scorecard, too. And right now, he's got to do something that you hate to be in this position, but he's in that position. You have to take chances. You have to risk it all now to be able to catch up. Bottom up, right? Bottom up. Turn those punches over. Good. Oh, good. Nice work. Listen. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Now 
not able to land the headshot. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Thass has really got a way about him when it comes to his Come footwork, on, his movement. Focus. It's serving him very well defensively. Yes, it is. He's controlling range, he's controlling distance, he's kicking his opponent where he wants him. Halfway through the ninth round. Defense there. That was a fine block by Fast. Final chance. Last 10 seconds of round nine. So another round comes to an end that, Teddy, when you put pen to paper, you're putting down the very same way. He's up by a lot here. Yeah, he is up by a lot. And the good news for him is he's up by a lot in his kind of fight. You know, it's going to pay the kind of pace he wants and in the dimensions that he wants. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, parry it away and you'll catch him. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking, how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Good defensive skill. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Able to dismiss that body shot. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10.
Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. And we come to the end of the round. Straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Wipeout! You're winning this fight! Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count it. Fass is enjoying a comfortable lead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number 11. Teddy, you've been in this position many times in your career. Yeah, what you want to do is you tell the guy, uh, the obvious is, you know, don't make mistakes. But go out there, keep doing what you're doing. One of the mistakes could be stop doing what you're doing. Don't just stop offense because you're worried about defense. Keep throwing the punches, but make sure that you're alert and make sure that defensively you're on top of yourself. Unable to make an impact there by Golden. off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym and you love when you see it executed. <laughs> Halfway through this 11th round. Doing great. by a mile that wasn't even close by fast looking good Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Jump on him. Nice. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, He's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. 
One more round, okay? This is it. One more round and that's it. Go for the head this round, okay? Where's your body work? Get the body. And they have reached the 12th and final round. Blocked that time. It was intended to the head. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Come on, get focused. Not much action as he just ties up. Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. Fass is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. He's tight. He's tight. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Hold him. Punch, punch. Gets rid of that body shot. It's all right, just keep moving. Golden's blocking ability is doing well for him there. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know. This could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. Fass is your winner. Two judges overcoming the one who saw it a draw. Just not much to separate these two all night long. So a majority decision goes in his favor. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.